Hey guys, I'm Lily O'Reilly and this is Lily O'Reilly Reviews. Today I'm coming to you from my home office because we're going to tackle whether or not silicone lube degrades silicone toys. So let's get to it. Alright, so today we're tackling whether or not silicone lube destroys silicone toys. To facilitate that, we have a jar that I rescued from HelloFresh, clean glass jar. I have three small silicone what's-its that toy companies send. I have a tongue from Bad Dragon. I have a small soft skull from, I believe, Kudu Voodoo. And I have a gear that I think was sent by either Twin Tail Creations or Goblin Dildo Emporium. Not sure. I also have a bottle of Wet Platinum Premium Silicone Lubricant. So, what we're going to do is we're going to stuff all of these in here, top it off with lube. Be right back. Okay, so now we're going to take our tiny little jar, pack it with the silicone what's-its, gear goes in first the soft skull hopefully the softer textured silicone means that if the lube is going to degrade something this will be one of the first to go and then the tongue by bad dragon just to you know really round things out okay the jar is pretty thoroughly packed it's stuffed to the brim with silicone. Let's top it off with lube. All right. Give that a minute for any bubbles to come out. And as you can see, I'm going to give it a good shake when I get the lid on, but we are full up to the brim with silicone lube. So, lid goes on. Gave it a good shake to get all the bubbles out. Most of the bubbles out. Perfect. Now all that's left is to label it, as we do for science. So, silicone degradation, and today's date is twenty third, April twenty nineteen. Now we have an official start date for the Does Lube Degrade Toys project. Okay, valid point that I forgot to mention because it has been years since I've done science in an actual lab setting. Jar is going to be kept in my office. Ambient temperature is 68 degrees Fahrenheit currently. It's going to fluctuate as it gets hotter outside, but it shouldn't go above 72. There's going to be about this level of sunlight exposure during the day. Otherwise, I'm not going to fuck with it. If I notice degradation, I'll check it sooner. Otherwise, we're looking at about a month before I break this thing open and we see if anything has degraded. So, yeah. As always, if you like what I do and you want to give me meaningless internet compliments to keep me moving, I love subscriptions. I love thumbs up. I don't really have much else. You could leave me a comment if you really want. So yeah, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being part of this. I'm glad you're here. Check back at the end of May, because May comes after April, and we'll see how the jar's doing. So bye guys.